Thank you for joining me for UMAP, Uniform Manifold Approximation and Projection in FCS Express. What is UMAP? UMAP is a dimensionality reduction technique that allows users to create two new parameters from a high dimensional data set. First, it creates a high dimensional graph, which is then reduced to a two dimensional graph, resulting in a UMAP1 and UMAP2 parameter. Some important user-defined variables are number of neighbors. This will associate one event and how many neighbors you think that event will have. As we increase the number, we start seeing the consolidation of population groups. Another important UMAP variable is min low dim distance. This will define how tightly packed or tightly condensed those regions of interest are after we've defined the number of neighbors. Now to get us started, we're going to be looking at a layout that's already created and the gating has already been performed. Now we'll move right into creating that UMAP. In our Transformations window, which can be found on our Tools tab, Transformations, I've already established our pipeline. There's another video that can be viewed to review creating a pipeline and a scaling step. The scaling step is important because we want to treat the distance between two points equally between lower numbers and higher numbers. You can also see I've included a new parameter removal step and that's included to help me manage the parameters here. Now let's go ahead and add our UMAP found under dimensionality reduction and UMAP. Once it comes into place, I'll be able to select the parameters that I'm interested in using to develop this. I would like to choose those scaled parameters. And then you'll see that we have those variables that we discussed briefly in the beginning. It looked like 35 was a great number of neighbors and 0 0.3 was good for how tightly condensed or loosely condensed I wanted these regions to appear. Number of iterations informs the software how many times you would like to run this transformation. Also, we have the ability to generate a new random seed. By default, it's selected at 6, but if I wanted to click on this button, the software would generate a new random seed. And then when I came back to rerun this, if I needed to optimize this transformation, I could increase the number of iterations and start with that same seed to make sure that everything else would be the same. After I've created my pipeline here, the next step is either to drag and drop it onto a plot or to select a plot and use the apply to selected plots option. Additionally, you could apply to all plots if that was something that would work for your workflow. So now that I have this applied to both of my plots, I can click in the middle of the axes here and I will find UMAP1 and UMAP2. If you have a lot of parameters, you can begin texting and it will reduce the number of parameters displayed. As you can see, I have a density plot here on the left hand side and I also have a color dot plot so I can see my back gating for certain populations of interest. There are plenty of formatting options available to you for your UMAP. Here are the resources that we use to develop our UMAP algorithm. If you would like more information, please see the publications listed here. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at support at denovosoftware.com. We're more than happy to schedule one-on-one -on -one trainings or answer any questions that may arise.